Road. It is the path open for the traffic of land transport means, traction means, pedestrians and animals. Whether the path is of public roads, sidewalks, wharfs and yards or other places available for people to use. Road Lane It is any part of the longitudinal parts to which the carriageway is divided. Carriageway It is the section of the road used usually for motion of vehicles. It consists of one or more lanes in the traffic direction. Carriageways are separated by different methods. Traffic Direction it is the direction of traffic in the right side of the road and it consists of one or more lanes, either in one or two directions. Shoulder of the road It is a part of the road in line with it from the two sides and is prepared for emergency stopping of vehicles. Types of roads Roads with one lane or more in one direction. Traffic is in one direction in all lanes of this road and is determined by direction marks and returning back is prohibited. Roads with one lane and two directions. They are either separated by a central island or longitudinal continuous lines where overtaking is absolutely prohibited. There are also roads separated by dashed longitudinal lines and overtaking is allowed at specific areas. Roads with two lanes or more in two directions. Directions are separated by central island or determined by continuous longitudinal lines. Here vehicles are prohibited to cross or move on the lines and in this case it is prohibited to move from a direction to another. Lane lines, however, are determined by dashed longitudinal lines, allowing vehicles to move from a lane to another. Main lanes Right lane and its uses when driving slow or low speed. If the driver wants to move to another road at his right. In the case of meeting another vehicle coming from the opposite direction. If he wants to stop and exit to stopping lane or out of carriageway. When a driver of a vehicle coming from behind wants to overtake his vehicle. In the case of approaching turns or from high tops when visibility in the road is insufficient. When driving heavy vehicles. Middle lane and its uses. When driving with a speed less than the speed limit allowed on the road. In the case of driving in a straight lane. Left lane and its uses. When driving with the speed limit allowed on the road. In the case of overtaking. In the case of turning left. Sublanes Accelerating lane It is a side lane in which vehicles coming from a subroad can accelerate before merging and entering in the main road so that their speed becomes equal to the speed of vehicles that exist on the main road. Deaccelerating lane It is a side lane used by vehicles that leave the main road and want to enter a subroad to reduce their speed until it's suitable for entering the subroad.
storage lane. It is an additional lane in the road allocated for vehicles that want to turn and return back to the opposite direction for their stop and wait for a safe and suitable time to turn and return without becoming an obstacle to the coming traffic or cause a traffic accident. Ascending Lane It is an additional lane in the road that is allocated for trucks that move slowly during ascending to give way to the vehicles behind to overtake it. Bicycle Lane It is an additional lane in the road allocated for bicycles and pedestrians. Public Transportation Lane It is a lane in the road allocated for public transportation. Stopping or Emergency Lane It is allocated for the stopping of vehicles if they are faulty and can be used by emergency vehicles during accidents. Please note, a driver should remain on the lane that he is already driving on and should only opt to change lanes when he is quite confident that his action will not cause an accident or affect traffic. Lane Changing The main aims of changing a lane to another. Turn right or left. Overtaking Increase or decrease in speed A driver who is using a one-direction main road with multiple lanes should only park his vehicle in the specified spaces. A driver should also not reverse or turn around. That can only be done in specified places. Rules of lane using and changing Any vehicle driver who wants to exit a lane full of vehicles should do the following. Inspect the blind spot by turning his head. Look at the mirrors and make sure he can do so without subjecting himself or others to risk. To take into consideration the positions of other road drivers, their direction and speed. To declare his intention clearly, at a sufficient distance, by using direction signals in his vehicles and hand signals when necessary. The warning signals from his vehicle should remain on throughout the duration of motion and only turned off after lane change. To carefully approach the edge of the carriageway. If he will move to another road at his right and approach as possible to the axis of the carriageway. If he will move to another road at his left gradually with caution during lane changing. Not to use more than one lane at the same time except in the above-mentioned cases. Mandatory cases for drive moves near the right edge of carriageway. Moving to another road at his right. Meeting another vehicle coming from the opposite direction. Overtaking your vehicle by a driver of a vehicle coming from behind. Insufficient and poor visibility on the road. Drivers of passenger vehicles, buses of different types, transportation cars, trucks, motor vehicles and equipment tractors and any motor vehicle trailing a trailer or semi-trailer have to move at the right side of the road and not to overtake other vehicles. 
Lane using. If a carriageway is divided into two lanes, bordered by continuous long lines, a vehicle driver is prohibited to cross or move on it. If a carriageway has two directions, divided into three lanes, a vehicle driver is allowed to use the middle lane, after making sure that this will not constitute a risk to others or traffic. In all cases, it is not allowed to use the traffic lane at the edge of the opposite direction of the lane that the driver is occupying. It is also not allowed for a driver to change his lane except after making sure that this does not constitute a risk to other drivers or traffic. General Guidelines and Ethics on Dealing with Lanes If two vehicles met from two opposite directions on a road, with insufficient width to accommodate their passing at the same time, the two drivers have to reduce their speed and move with their vehicles to the right edge of a carriageway as much as possible, or exceed the edge of the carriageway if necessary. It is not allowed for any vehicle to occupy more than half of the carriageway in case of facing another vehicle. If two vehicles met in a carriageway of an insufficient width because of the existence of an obstacle on the road, the driver of that vehicle moves on the lane that contains the obstacle. He has to give way to the opposing vehicle, even if the driver of the first vehicle was forced to stop. Safety distance Safety distance between vehicles It is the distance that must be kept by the driver between his vehicle and the vehicle moving in front of him. To avoid the occurrence of a traffic accident, because of a sudden stop, where the accelerating vehicle needs a longer distance to stop completely and gradually, which may increase or decrease according to the vehicle's speed. Accident statistics indicate that most of the traffic accidents are as a result of the lack of a sufficient safety distance between vehicles, where most drivers are accelerating and do not keep a sufficient safety distance between their vehicles and the vehicles that are moving in front of them. A safety distance enables a driver to sudden stop with the occurrence of any emergency circumstance on the road without collision. Risk of failure to keep a safety distance near tailgating in the case of a sudden stop of the vehicle moving in front of you without any clear reason, you have to react quickly by stopping your vehicle. In order to avoid a certain accident, and at the time you will find that your vehicle did not stop before it collides with the vehicle in front of you. In this case, you will be the instigator of the accident because you failed to keep a sufficient safety distance between your vehicle and the vehicle that is moving in front of you. The safety distance between two vehicles that are traveling on the road is always governed by the following traffic-related factors. Driving Circumstances Road Surface Condition Motor vehicle and tires condition. Speed. A driver's psychological and health condition. Weather condition. The safety distance is estimated by one of the following methods. Counting method. Two seconds. 
It is as follows. If the vehicle in front of you passes a fixed object, start counting. Start counting slowly. 1,000 and 100 and then 1,200. If the nose of your vehicle reach to the edge of the fixed object before completing counting, the time is then less than 2 seconds. That means you are very near from the vehicle moving in front of you and you have to increase the safety distance. Note that big vehicles need a greater safety distance. Estimated by 3 seconds, which is calculated by the same method. Speedometer half-reading method Through this method, a distance of half a meter per kilometer per hour of the vehicle speed will be kept. Example When the vehicle speed is 100 kilometers per hour, a safety distance between your vehicle and the vehicle in front of you is no less than 50 meter. Why do we need this time and distance to stop? When we see a danger, the eye sends its picture to the brain, which in turn sends an order to the right foot to press on the brake. In the meantime, the vehicle is still moving. This distance is called thinking distance. And when pressing on the brake, the vehicle starts to deaccelerate until it completely stops. And this distance is called braking distance. Definitions Waiting Parking It is the parking of the vehicle in a place for a finite or infinite time period. Stopping Stopping the vehicle for a time period necessary for moving, getting on or off, picking up passengers, loading or unloading goods. Pedestrians Crossing It is a place allocated for pedestrians crossing marked for this purpose. A driver should stop before it. Handicaps Parking It is a place allocated for parking handicaps vehicles, which is indicated by signs and road surface markings. Road shoulder. It is part of the road in line with it from the two sides prepared for emergency stops.